Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to correctly scale bones uh, with the Meshmer for Poser when uh, you're working, when you plan to work with animations, uh, retargeting and uh, all that uh, stuff in Unreal Engine, right? So uh, first let's see how, uh, what is our pro what is the problem and uh, what is the solution, right? So let's, uh, let's uh, scale uh, for a metahuman the root uh, bone and uh, let's put it here like uh, a scale of three right and uh just bake this <laughs> now if uh, we want uh to bake uh to sorry to retarget an animation for uh, our uh, uh meta human Let's uh, select an animation here, retarget, and uh, let's select our uh, meta human body. We will see that uh, it looks kind of weird already, even in retargeter, right? I don't. Uh, let's export this animation. Let's export it to content folder and uh, let's check it out. Here in uh, uh, Persona it looks good, but uh, if we add it in uh, sequencer, let's make a sequence. Right. Let's drive our meta human in the world. And uh, let's uh, drive our meta human. And let's select our idle animation. We will see that uh, the scaling didn't work correctly, right? Even though we have only the root bone scaled, uh, the animation doesn't work correctly, right? So uh, let's uh, let's check out uh, how is the correct way to scale bones, right? Okay, uh, to correctly scale, we go to Poser. We uh, select our root bone and we set our scale we're gonna use the same value as before we're gonna set it to three and uh to fix to remove the scaling uh animation system doesn't work very well with scaled bones so to remove the scaling for just the root bone we just select update children and we set back to one and now we have the scaled mesh uh by three times is scaled but uh, the root bone has a scale of one right so let's turn back uh, update children and uh, let's continue with upper arm and uh, let's make the arms a little bit small right let's make make like dinosaur or t-rex arms and uh, now if uh, we want to bake we, we could do the same thing go to update children and set scale but if you do multiple bones aside root bone when you bake you can remove scaling directly here but this doesn't work when you when you want to remove scaling from root right so for other for any other bones that you have uh, changed scale just uh when you bake just remove scale so now if uh, we remove scaling here Now uh, let's uh, do the same, retarget our idle animation. And uh, let's select our Ettore body. And we will see even in the retargeter that uh, our mesh is correctly positioned. We don't have the same problem as before, right? It's uh, it's uh, 
stick to the ground and uh, everything uh, looks fine, right? So let's uh, do the same with the animation. And uh, let's uh, export the animation. And we're going to test it in uh, a level sequence, right? Let's add our beta human. And let's add it to uh, the track. For the head, you would have to do the same thing, right? So let's add the animation. And let's play it. You can see our uh, meta human body now is uh, correctly playing our re retargeted animation. So uh, you would have to do the same for the head or uh, any change you have on the body. Usually you want to have on the head as well, right? This is how it works. And uh, yeah, uh, this is it for uh, this video. This is how you use scale bones for working with animations and uh, see you around guys bye